Yo, what is going on guys? It's Cryptic TMG and I'm back with a brand new video. And today I want to be sort of previewing um, or reviewing the new McLaren 720S GT3 Evo. And um, yeah, basically, let's just get stuck into the video. So I've been driving the McLaren 720S Evo. And for me, someone who didn't really enjoy driving the last McLaren, there is definitely an upward spiral with this car tends to be a lot more you know friendly in terms of handling i used to find the old uh, mclaren used to sort of understeer on throttle a lot different with this mclaren um it's a little bit more lively at the rear what i would say but definitely the car is absolutely rapid without even a setup going around valencia i could already tell in the stream i did the other day that this car had bags and bags of potential now i think the fastest time so far achieved around valencia I think is Luke Whitehead. Well, the last time I checked on the Airbar hot lap servers was Luke Whitehead did a 29.4, which is faster than any of the other cars had been since all the other cars came out. So already after one day, um, the McLaren's been able to outpace all the other cars around um, Valencia. Now, obviously, it's a brand new patch. Little things have been tinkered with. Um, so we don't know if any, any of the other cars were slightly slowed down. But what I will say is right now as of today the mclaren is probably going to be up there in terms of one of the number one picks for any sort of league that's going on um what i will say is probably the skill gap is a little bit bigger than it is for let's say the ferrari so I, I'm, I'm sure you will still get tons of ferrari drivers because the car is that much easier to drive and that much easier to set up when i say that much easier to drive it's not like the mclaren's hard to drive but the Ferrari's easier. The Ferrari's definitely an easier car to get the speed out of. So I, I still say you're probably going to see the majority of people in a Ferrari, but the McLaren does have the speed to um, definitely win races and win a championship at the moment. And I can see it being one of the favorites, definitely with the more skilled drivers, um, the McLaren will be up there. Um, things that I have noticed about the McLaren, like I said before, the back end is a little bit more spicy. So, you know, you really have to work with the setup to try and make sure the rear doesn't get too loose um can't really push it into corners the same way what you can do with a ferrari but um it's it's definitely definitely worth it to try and master the car because it's insanely fast um haven't tested it at all tracks just yet but so far with the tracks that i've seen and been around the mclaren has got some serious serious pace so hopefully um the BOP gets sort of sorted out because at the moment I think it is maybe a tenth or two quicker than anything else. And um, I'm not sure how that will work out for a race, whether it has you know bad tire wear or anything like that. But I always say tire wear tends to affect 95% of the game. At the upper echelon, the top players, the top esports drivers are not probably going to be affected by tire wear as much because they grind the game so much they know exactly what to do to look after the tires so um for the most part i mean in esports competitions they're probably going to have to make sure that the car is bop'd correctly and as i was saying in my stream the other day if you look at the amount of new cars we have or the cars that have been sort of brought into the game through the last couple of years which technically still are new cars we should sort of be sorting out the bop so everything's roundabout equal i mean i think we've got seven newish cars we've got the the new mclaren the new ferrari the audi evo that came out last year um also the bmw which came out last year we've got the lamborghini evo 2 the porsche um 992 and we've got the amg which was also updated so that's that's seven cars technically that's new i believe they should also um buff that the, the honda again because they it did need a nerf but not into oblivion not to nerf the cars to the point where no one's ever going to use it again if they can get that right and probably also maybe bring the aston sort of in line as well and we're probably going to have about nine cars that are viable um and that 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 will put the game in a great place because it allows people to pick whatever car they like to drive instead of being forced to drive cars because of the bop you know um and that's that's what i would like to see 
So going back to the McLaren, a um, few things that, you know, as I said, I did notice. Now, for me personally, when I tried this car, I can tell you that the TC definitely um, is not as good as the Ferrari, but on the lower TC settings, the car is faster for me. Um, you can't really go above 4 TC because it just literally completely and utterly just bogs down. And um, that's sort of, you know, the balance you have to find. Now, what I tried is I actually ran 2-2 TC. And even though the back end would step out quite a lot, it was quicker. It was quicker than when I ran like 4-2 or 4-0 or 4-1. But then you have to understand you have to be a lot more gentle on the throttle and be a bit more progressive when you accelerate because you can't just put your foot down as the back end is just going to be all over the place so what i actually ended up doing because i did like the 4-1 tc or 4-0 um i did like them tc settings so what i ended up doing is i set up a hotkey for my tc so um when i when i'm exiting corners i can leave it on four for a second and then pull it down to two and then it stops the the tc from cutting in as i'm trying to accelerate in a straight line but I don't press it early enough to where the back end stepping out all over the place because on certain corners like for instance on this corner it's quite hard to control the car you can see me pressing two there as soon as the car as soon as I get it straight or where I can control it I'll flick it down to two stop that um stop that traction from bogging down and that's what I sort of did I saw I was watching Luke Whitehead and stuff like that do his hot laps and he was running one one so pretty brave on the TC but he was able to handle it and I can tell you it definitely does give you some time but it's one of those things where you have to find the correct balance you may have to just you know really focus on your setup to get as much rear traction as possible through the setup and then you can sort of adjust the TC as you go along but um, those are my takings from the setup at the moment also the car's curb clearance is insane running a car on minimum ride height at 50 I believe the minimum ride height is um, no problems no problems whatsoever now I can jump in other cars I jumped in the Audi I tried the Audi because they made some changes to the Audi as well and I can tell you even on a higher ride height I think the minimum on the Audi is 54 I think and it literally just cannot take the curb the second to last corner the Audi just cannot handle that curb you really have to go into the damper settings to make the correct changes to really affect those sort of cars and um yeah for the mclaren i didn't even touch the dampers bro and literally just from from the get-go from the default hitting the curbs no problemo so um that, that's that's one thing that i have noticed um and as i said this car is definitely going to be a front runner regardless if, if you're doing a league and the super quick guys are in the mclaren probably just know you're going to find it extremely hard to compete against them um, it may come down to a tire wear situation and you know, whose car lost the, the best. Now, I'll say the Ferrari is pretty good in that regard, and I think, I think the the, I think the Lambo is definitely up there as well. But we're gonna see which car has the tires that last the best out of those three, which I think are probably going to be the three cars that are head in the field at the moment. Um, they did nerf the Porsche a little bit. I think maybe they need to bring it back into line a little bit. And, you know, um, I saw they made changes to the Bentley and stuff like that. But from what I'm hearing, they, the Bentley and that Honda are supposed to, get, supposed to have gotten buff. But from the testing that I heard that people were doing, the Honda only sort of recovered about two temps from, you know, what what how far it was behind. And that's not enough considering that car was almost a second off at Paul Ricard in the SRO Championship so it definitely needs a lot more work um, the Bentley probably going to need some more work as well I can't see it really competing at the front always been a great car on tyres and stuff like that but I feel like for the Bentley the biggest problem has always been the way that the TC engages it is far too harsh and it kicks in so much and the car's got a lot of torque so and that, when that Bentley when the traction really bogs it down it's not able that's why it's never really been able to consistently compete for pole positions because on a hot lap when these guys are running low tc settings the bentley you just can't do it you can't really do that um you have to short shift and stuff like that which you know it will stop it from cutting in but you're also going to lose a little bit of time so um maybe they'll make their changes and amend the game so all these cars can be in line a lot more but at the moment i would say we're looking at the mclaren 
probably be in the, the meta um, with the Ferrari and the and the Lamborghini at the moment. But guys, it's up for you guys to decide. If I was you, I would test all three cars. I'll probably still say the Ferrari is the easiest to drive. Um, I still think the Ferrari is what most people will pick. But um, the McLaren definitely, definitely is a viable car probably up there. So guys, tell me what you think about the McLaren in the comment section below. Cryptic TNG, like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to catch my videos first. And peace.